This is our consent form for the procedure. As you know, the novel part about this procedure is we're going to be using a new augmented reality guided computer system that's mounted on a headset so that we can accurately place the screws into your back. I'm Kay Bartulis. I was diagnosed with spinal stenosis. Dr. Witham, being the expert he is, was the one who took the case and corrected my uh, problem. I was having horrible muscle cramping, like twisting. It would hurt so much, even at the mall. The lower back pain would be so much, I just didn't want to keep going. I'd have to find something to hold on to. It was hard to watch. We felt like someone was going to help her, but knowing she was with Dr. Witham, we knew she was in good hands. We are extremely excited to be doing the first ever in the world, really, augmented reality guided procedure for placement of spinal instrumentation in one of my patients. She has a common condition in the lumbar spine called spondylolisthesis, which is a slippage of one vertebra relative to the other. And that causes radiating pain down the leg or sciatic pain that people are familiar with. A lot of times we'll try to treat these things without surgery, but when the non-surgical treatments fail, that's when surgery comes in and, and uh, can often be very effective. It probably needs to go a little bit closer. They were all so sweet and talking to me, you're going to be fine, and they were getting ready to get all the stuff hooked up on me, and actually it made me feel a lot better because it was almost fun watching them getting themselves prepped. Doctor with them was getting his headset put on and they were making sure that everything was working with it. And then after that, I got whatever they put me out with and I was gone. Goodbye, Kay. <laughs> this is an amazing technology that was developed um, based on the type of headset that fighter pilots commonly use. But there is also a computer onlay that shows us not only the surface anatomy of the body, but also the internal structure of the bone in two planes, which is critical in terms of our directing a screw, let's say, into the bone in, in the spine. And, um, by having all of that information right in front of you where you can attend to the patient and view the computerized images to show where you're directing that instrumentation, it's a game changer. I'd never worried about his technology with that. I was actually very happy that they had it. And I said, well, all I can say is anything that would allow you to have better vision inside my body has to be a benefit. This makes it more seamless and easier, I think more efficient, and I think it's gonna be more effective and accurate for patient care. Um, and it's gonna make what we do, I think, better with better outcomes, more efficiency, better accuracy of placement of spinal instrumentation. Hey there. Hi. How you doing? It's been about seven months since your surgery. And um, of course, I want to hear an update about how you're doing. My stay in the hospital was very nice. The people were very receptive to coming when I needed help. And then I went home and got the help I needed from my family. Around the clock. <laughs> One of us was there 24-7, but as each day or week went on, we were having to do less and less, and she was getting more independent. And then it seemed like once you got that momentum and you were off and running, it was like, I'll call you if I need you. We were grateful that um, she was willing to, uh, you know, take that leap of faith and subsequently done at least 30 more cases, and we were able to... Oh. Uh, yeah, and it's been a variety of different cases. Sounds like everything's moving along with the procedures for you, and all. it's wonderful. It's wonderful yeah, that thanks. your team came up with this and that you're thanks. having such success. Thanks. thanks for being such a critical part of it. For <laughs> now, I'm glad you were there. <laughs>